Were they spreading rumors about Elaine Thompson Hera? Rumors them spreading, saying that uh, <laughs> the greatest of all time and Stacey Ann Abrams, plus the Jamaica Olympic Association honors our athletes and more. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Now go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we continue to grow. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops, you drop a video each once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button and finally leave your thoughts. So, they're ready? Yep, good to go. Well, uh, first up, let me just tell you our newest YouTube channel, Peter Lloyd World of Wealth for all things finance. The goal is to get you to financial freedom and financial wisdom is up and running. Peter Lloyd World of Wealth. Our newest video is up. It is entitled Donald Trump, the Caribbean and your money. Go check it out. It's up right now. I'll leave a link in the description below. Now, let's get into this track and feel video. She is considered the GOAT, the greatest of all time in terms of women's females, 100 meters, none other than Jamaica's Shelly Ann Fraser Price. And herself and several of the top tier women in track and field, uh, several of my favorites, including Dina Asher Smith. Would well, I don't know if you have a little crush on Dina Asher Smith? Yeah. Uh, as well as. Let me just read what they posted. They wrote, why not you? A question posted by Stacey Abrams. In fact, I said Stacey and Abrams, apologies. At this year's Nike Athlete Think Tank. I have had the pleasure of being part of the ATT journey since its inception. And this most recent gathering was the most impactful experience we've had thus far. There is so much value in coming together to have real conversations that act as catalysts for positive change both individually and collectively as women athletes we all have power and the possibilities are endless and the no shelly and fraser price constantly inspires us here she is with stacy abraham Abra Now, we've been reporting on this Nike athlete, athlete think tank for quite some time. And it's great to see all these athletes coming together. That's Dean Asher Smith in the back. People don't normal of Dean Asher Smith. Here again is Shelly and Fraser Price and Stacey uh, Abrams. And I just love seeing these girls getting together and having fun. And of course, I agreed everything Shelly and Fraser Price wrote. Uh, it is, you know, to get all the great minds together in one room, that's always a positive. And you know, we love Shelly and Fraser Price. Looking forward to having a great 2025 season. I just think she's not done yet, people. I think she's going to be awesome. Introducing Peter Lloyd World Merchandise, where style meets comfort. From trendy tees to cozy hoodies, we've got something for everyone. Elevate your wardrobe with our high-quality, fashionable designs that make a statement. Whether you're hitting the streets or chilling at home, Peter Lloyd World has you covered. Shop now and upgrade your look with Peter Lloyd World merchandise. Available exclusively at Peter Lloyd World. Link in description below. Tina Clayton of the famous twin turbos Tia and Tina Clayton posted this to her social media pages. Great pictures of this youngster as she gets ready for her 2025 season. She wrote, God goals growing and glowing. I absolutely love this. And yeah, she's growing and glowing and it's just really remarkable that we all remember little Tina and Tia Clayton and, and they're becoming adults. Um, I think they just hit 20 this year. Um, and I just know that both of these girls are going to have a fire 2025 season. I just have that feeling in my gut. So um, big up to you, Tina Clayton. Enjoy yourself. So, the Jamaica Olympic Association celebrated our athletes and other persons over uh, this weekend. The Jamaican Olympic Association honors Olympian David Weller, guest speaker and fellow athletes at the inaugural Olympic Salute, a tribute to their remarkable achievements 
in Paris 2024. And I'm really, really happy for this because, you know, we acted as if nothing happened in 2024, some of us. And I, even I threw my own tantrums, to be very frank with you. But it's great to see that our athletes and the persons behind the scene and the people within the Jamaica Athletic Association, um, all of these people have come together to salute people like this gentleman, Michael Freighter, who you're looking at, and others. Uh, here is the remarkable Olympian, Wayne Pinnock, who was honored, one of the athletes honored at this ceremony, Jamaica Olympic Association. Big up to yourself, uh, Wayne Pinnock. So, super happy about this. So, now we put out a video um, based on information that we had gotten by a highly respected person um, who normally gives you very, very good information um, with Dr. Horton about um, the fact that uh, Elaine Thompson Hera uh, is now being coached by Raina Reed um, over there in the United States of America. But apparently, uh, a Sports Max, uh, Sports Max article has come out. I'm just going to go through this article. Big up to the team over there at Sports Max. I know my love and respect, you know, uh, always on point. And I'm going to concede that um, I was clearly wrong in this instance. But uh, And I don't want you to knock uh, the great Mr. Horton. He tends to be uh, almost always correct, um, which is why a lot of us ran at the story. And, I, and he explains what happened, so just listen um, carefully. So no, it's not rumors and spreading, saying that the sense in me plant. <laughs> anyway, 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 let me just be a bit sad. All right, let me get into the article. It says, not so fast. Horton says Thompson here in Florida for treatment on Achilles not joining Tumbleweed Track Club. That's the headline. Earlier on Saturday, Sportsmax.tv published a story based on the words of three-time Olympic medalist Dr. Gregory Horton, suggesting that Elaine Thompson Hera was training with Tumble, the Tumbleweed Track Club in Jacksonville, Florida, under the supervision of Rainer Reed. Uh, he mentioned that the potential move in a recent video, which has since been deleted on his YouTube channel, um, Let's Talk with Dr. Greg. Now, Horton has released a statement on his Facebook page clarifying that the five-time Olympic champion has, in fact, not been training with the club, but is instead in Florida getting treatment for the Achilles injury that happened with her in 2024. Quote, On Thursday, I posted a video entitled Elaine Thompson Hera has found a new home, which in my mind was very good news. The day before I dropped the video, I received a... I received a call stating that Elaine was in Florida getting treatment and she was also a part of a particular training camp. I then made some calls to confirm the first all the, the first call I got and it was confirmed multiple times, Horton said in a statement. It it continued. Uh, I even asked two of the sources, how sure are you of the info? And both said 90% sure, which in turn I reported on as such, 24 hours after dropping the video, I got a call from someone on Elaine's team where we have had a very intense conversation in the first 20 to 25 minutes. Uh, okay, uh, at the end of the day, day, apologies people, let me continue. He continues, at the end of the day, I respected the fact, the fact that the call was made and I also appreciated the fact that they took the time to listen to what I had to say regarding my intentions behind it all. It must be said that the personnel from Elaine's team stated that the video was not completely accurate and had uh, adamantly refuted any claims being made about Elaine having an official new camp. Yes, Elaine is in Florida getting treatment. Yes, Elaine may have associations that are associated with the camp in question, but let it be heard here. Let it be heard here. As I set the record straight, Elaine has not found a new home, plain and simple. Now, this, of course, is my two cents. Okay, so so we also ran at the story simply because um, uh, Dr. Horton is one of the few persons who's who tends to be very, very accurate. So in this instance, I didn't even bother to check, which is something I normally would do. Uh, there are about three persons. He's one of those persons who tends to get it right. Um, and a few others that 
I would normally double check and triple check, but he tends to be correct. And um, I respect the fact that he came out, he corrected all of us. So I am now um, uh, apologizing to all of you for, yeah, for um, contributing to the disbursement of something that was not necessarily true. And he said, of course, it was her team themselves who, who, who stepped in, which is a good thing. Uh, but like I said, this is track and field. These things are going to happen. It's not just track and field. It's the world. Sometimes there can be miscommunication. However, let's talk about the positives here. The positives is that she is overseas getting treatment for the Achilles heel, which has been her major problem since 2017. I mean, this has really hampered her in unimaginable ways. And um, I am very happy about this. Now, in my last video, I also pointed out the impact of injury on an athlete, especially sprinters over a period of time scar tissue injuries etc but i also um hopeful very hopeful because i don't know say i'm a big alien times the hero fan also that um this treatment you know what this treatment is going to work let's just say let's just be positive for her because i'm going to keep saying it elaine thompson hero at her best can't be beaten by anyone except possibly possibly shelly and fraser price with all due respect to the young females coming up at this point um including um I just don't see anybody right right now maybe in another couple of years who can actually challenge her her um 10.54 oh, shelly is the closest i can think of and i mean i know our american friends will say um shakara richardson but i just i just don't think so not yet anyway and um even the great sharika jackson I, I still don't see her in in 10 po i mean come on people 10.54 uh, i get only one other human being has run much fast any faster than that and that's the world record holder so um, anything on a 10-6-0 is, 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 in fact, even 10 six zero is insanity. Um, so, you know, I'm very happy to hear this news and I'm very, very happy that the, the, the great Dr. Horton, so don't be too mad at him, don't be too mad at us. Like he tends to, like I said, he's one of the YouTubers I, I do listen to and he tends to be very, very um, accurate. And sir, thank you for correcting us. A big up to you. You do great work. So there you have it. It's not rumors. It was a misunderstanding. But the good news is that she's been treated and that's really the ultimate thing. That's what we really need to know. Uh, if she's healed, it's going to be trouble out there. But this, of course, is my two cents. Now, don't forget to check out our new video on our newest channel, Peter Lloyd World of Wealth, entitled Donald Trump, the Caribbean and your money. If you are in the diaspora, if you are in Latin America, Central America, the Caribbean, Jamaica, of course, which is in the Caribbean, you really need to go watch that video. Um, I make, I show you exactly how some of his proposed policies, because remember he's not yet in power, um, if they are implemented, how you can make money from some and how you may not make money from others. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the notification and hit the like button. Remember you are royals, kings and queens. Bless us.